Hey, Rope God. What's up, bro? What's going on? Hey, bro, what brushes are you using right now? Currently, I'm talking about right now. I could have sworn I did a video on that already. I mean, I think it was. Did I? No, nah, you didn't do a video on that, bro. You did a video on the best brushes to use for 360 Waves. Not the brushes you're using right now. Yeah, well, it's kind of different. So I, I guess I'll do that video for you. I got you, bro. Let's get it. Man. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Rope God, man. Today, I'm coming at y'all with a video on the brushes I'm currently using right now. And can y'all do me a favor right now? If you're new tuning in to my channel right now, subscribe now, please. Thank you. Also, if you like this video, make sure you like it. Like it right now. Like it right now. Why not? Sharing is caring, too. So if you want to share, you can share now, too. But let's get into the video right now. All right, YouTube, so pretty much I'm gonna explain, you, explain to you guys the brushes I use right now from the firm brushes to the, to the softy brushes. So from the hard to the softies. So the first one I'm using right now is a Torino 6456. I use this brush right here. I use that brush right there when I'm washing. This is my wash workhorse. It's not too hard, it's not too soft. When you're washing, you don't really need a hard, hard, extra hard brush unless you major woofing. I say about over 10 weeks woofing. So I'm using just right now, I'm using this one. That's for my wash. That's my wash workhorse. And you, you can see, as you can see, this brush looks like a beast. And it is a beast. Not too hard, not too soft. The perfect type of brush for washing. Next brush I use, I use this right now as my hard. Um, I'm not use, really using hards right now. And it's not because I'm not woofing, it's just because my hair is pretty much trained, so I don't really have to use a hard, hard brush. That as long as I'm using a brush that's getting down to the scalp and pulling my curls, then I'm good with that, you know what I mean? So right now, I'm using this old school Lido Pro, the 5156, the first one that came out, the Lido Pro. It's not a Torino Pro, it's a Lido Pro, but it's pretty much the same. It's a reinforced, no, actually it's not even reinforced, it's 100% board bristle. So it's not that hard at all, but it got good pull though. So it would get the job done. As you can see, this thing been through a lot. <laughs> I had it for about three years. And um, yeah, it been doing, it been doing my hair justice. All right, so the next firm brush I use, that's a little bit like softer than that one. And that's because it's brand new. I've been having it for a while and I just barely opened it. It's an A119 OG, triple OG, Diane. Diane o A19 OG. This one right here, I believe it's a walnut one, so it's kind of firmer than the regular ones. And that one, I, I like this one, man. It got good pull. As you can see, the, it's, the pearl on it is real nice. It's a nice looking brush. The spacing is nice, and it's pretty much my favorite brush. A19 Diane OGs are my favorite brushes. Next one I use is Firm 2 as well. It's another firm brush. We got the Beauty 606 brush, Beauty 606. You can see it, it's a, ma it's a mahogany brush. I love mahogany brushes, it's just, it just look luxurious. You know what I'm saying? I love it, I love luxurious looks. So I use that all the time, man. It's a good brush, good pull. It's kind of similar to Diane, you know what I'm saying? Cause it got good spacing and all that. So I love this one. Um, the next one I use is another Diane A119. This one right here is the pearl one. The other one was the walnut. This one is the pearl one, and I love this one too because it's real soft. I've had it for three years, so the more you use your brushes, the more softer it's gonna get each year, and the more you wash it and all that, it's gonna get a little soft. So it's, this one is pretty much real soft, and I use it like as a, a polisher, a finisher brush. So that's my other brush I use. This one right here is my really my polisher, like. I use this one to brush all my products in. Whatever product I depend on using, I brush it in with this brush. Uh, it gives your hair a good shine. And also, softy brushes, y'all know, if y'all didn't know, softy brushes 
change your hair texture as well because it's real soft and it's not really damaging your hair. This one right here is an A169 OG Diane. Love this brush. Love it. It's all black. All black. A little bit of white on it. Uh, wood. The wood. I had it for a while as you can see. It's trying to chip a little bit. I got other A169s too though. But I use this one though. It's just, even though it's old, I like it. It's just, I like soft, soft brushes. And I, this one right here is a good polisher. So I'll use it for that. Another one I use is the Best, Best Wave Brush. Softy. Best Wave Brush Saucy. Man, this brush right here, I use after I finish polishing my hair. And I rag up. I use my A169 and I rag up. As soon as I unrag, to give it a good, good shine after I unrag. I'll finish it with that brush. And um, it gave me an excellent shine and good polish. So this brush right here is pretty much a finisher because it's real, real soft, but it got like, as you can see, the bristles are uh, long, it's long, and it has spacing like the Diane brushes. So that's the reason why I like this brush. And I know for sure that if I use this brush, I'm guaranteed gonna get to the scalp because even though it's soft, it has long bristles and yeah, that's good. So, Next one I use is the Annie 2073. If y'all been watching me for a while, y'all been following me, y'all know I use this brush all the time for my crown. It's a good crown brush. It's small so you can hit those angles perfectly. And being that my, my crown, my, my dominant crown is on the right, I use this brush right here and it's easier for me to get around them angles. Being that my crown is on the right, it's kind of hard to hit them angles. Um, as far as my crown with the big brushes so i use this this brush right here for my crown only crown work and it's it's been working and it's soft and it's good for your crown because like i say i got two crowns so my crown like it tends to like look a little thin so like i said before so i ain't trying to use nothing hard on my crown area so i use the softy those are all the brushes i use right now currently all the brushes i use i'm not saying i use them all in one session no i just use them here and there, you know what I'm saying? Um, I use all, I use three of them at a session though. So it depends on, I just kind of switch it up depending on how I feel. So that's pretty much it on my video. If you guys want these brushes, I'll um, leave everything in the description box below where you can get them from. Some of them you can't get them though. I ain't gonna lie, like it's hard to find these brushes. You know what I'm saying? That's why I tell y'all to join my page, Natural Elites Waves, Natural Elite Waves on Facebook, my Facebook group. Comment on, um, just make a post on there and y'all could find some of these brushes because these brushes right here, you sometimes can't find in a beauty supply store. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta find these on the streets and the wave streets. So that's why it's good to be in groups because you can find brushes that people are selling, you know, that they got when they first came out. So join the page, salute.